So guys, I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Today's deck that we're presenting for you guys is a deck called Thundercats. Thundercats, you'll see the uh, you'll see the objective of this deck. You'll see it real quick. Um, the first thing I got to show you is Drizzt Dorden. This is a kind of a nice card. This is a little bit of an older deck, but I'm guessing you guys already have a lot of these cards, right? So this is something that you guys can definitely build. All right, so what you'll notice with Drizzt is that when he comes into play, he'll summon a nice big cat for you. It's going to be a 9-5, right? So he's going to be pretty powerful, Berserker, that kind of stuff. Um, the thing with this deck is that we're putting that big cat down, all right? We're putting this card down here. At the beginning of each player's turn, populate two times. I'll show you what populate does here. It reinforces the first creature token that you control that has the biggest and greatest power, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our big cat down, our uh, Guen Harvar. I don't even know if I said that's correct. I'm just calling him big cat. We'll get big cat down, right? And then we're going to we're going to populate, right, to make them bigger and bigger. And that's basically how we're going to do damage, how we're going to win this game. You see some other cards here. Um, some of these are not important, but this one, of course, is Asika's Chariot. The reason we like Asika's Chariot is this part over here. It says when your first creature attacks, that creature gets plus two, plus two. That's kind of nice, but then populate, right? We're trying to populate as much as we can. That's the whole point of this deck. Trying to get our big cat even bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is a good card to seek his chariot. Um, what I also have to point out is that you got these beast tokens, right? These cat beasts. That kind of works out if you don't have big cat. You got small cat here, okay? So you kind of get it. The populate helps and, you know, you can kind of see the, the way we're going to try to win games here. We got Grappling Hook. We're going to try to put Big Cat with the Grappling Hook uh, just to get him nice and strong. We'll use Witch's Web down there to, to put him there. Prismatic Bridge. I think a lot of people have this card. If you've got it, it's going to help you to draw either a Prismatic Bridge or one of the two different creatures and you get to put it into play for free. You can kind of see why we want that, right? Because we get these two out and yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, let's see. Last thing I gotta mention, when another creature dies, if it had power greater to this creature's, this creature get X, X, and X is the difference. We have to be careful of that because we want to make sure that this guy uh, doesn't accidentally die. Anyway, um, let's take a look at some game footage. I'm hoping we can populate... I'm hoping we can populate... Well, let's look at some game footage, and I'm hoping we can populate, 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 make our big cat really, really big. If we can't get the big cat, like I said, let's try to get the small cat. Make them big, big, big. All right, let's see what the gameplay gives us. Uh, I like, of course, as you can see, Domri here. One of the things I like about Domri is uh, you can fetch creatures, right? So fetch the first two creatures from your library. You're kind of hoping that you get both creatures. If you don't, then, you know, you're going to have to wait a little, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of why I like this creature or this planeswalker. If you don't have Domri, then, you know, you're probably going to have to go with uh, another one that can play the red and green. All right. Crag Crown Pathway. This is a good card. We just got to make sure that we're able to use this landforming ability. Uh, landforming, I'll click it over here. What it does is if you make a horizontal swap, you'll be able to use this ability here. It says create a timber ground pathway. That's another land, right? So that really helps. We, we want to get a ton of land down here and just hopefully that's going to help us to um, get the mana flow going. There we are. Okay, it looks like we can... Oh, there's Colma. All right, Colma's looking good. Put that there. We got to get Drizzt or Dord and down and get our big cat going. But there we go. What are we going to get on this draw? Wow, look at that. We call that top deck in the game, guys. Top deck, obviously, is when you get that card that you need right on the top of your deck. And it's... It's devastating sometimes, kind of depending on what you need. And you know what? A lot of times it, it saves your life, right? So we just, we absolutely love top deck. Okay. Now, uh, getting on to it, we'll go with this. Then, uh, we didn't get lucky like I was hoping to get with the, uh, with the gem conversion and, well, trying to get the, uh, the cascade going. 
Oh, I, okay. You kind of can see where the opponent's going to go with this, right? They got, um... They got Linden down. Linden's good, right? Because you got the human and knight leader, and you've seen that they're able to put some tokens. If they're able to put a lot of tokens, then we're going to have a hard time with this one, guys. Oh, look. Introduction to Annihilation. That one is pretty much all paid for. Just got to get a couple more on there. And there we go. That takes care of her. And it kind of gets us out of trouble because she was going to get big and nasty. We kind of we kind of can see that already. There we go. We get some gem conversion going. That's nice. And uh, hmm. let's go with this. We'll get some green going there. There's Drizzit. Drizzit is down. And there's Big Cat. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to... We're gonna definitely try to uh, get Coma down. If Coma's good, then uh, you're gonna see us get some good stuff going. And okay, all right, looks like Coma is gonna be played. Let's go like that, and then we'll go with Sika's Chariot. That was a good one. I think we talked about that one in the beginning. Okay, all right, we're looking good. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, wait, here's the question. At the beginning of combat, do you want to... Um, it says, you may destroy target token you control. Uh, yeah, no, let's not do that. Oh, I almost I almost got our, our big cat killed. Alright, and you can see big cat's getting bigger. That was the, uh, that was the populate ability. Big Cat's getting bigger again. Let's see if we can get Asika's Chariot down. That's going to be nice. Looks like she's a little bit of a ways away. You know, I like this card here. I do want to move it up. All right. There we go. That one helps out. We don't really like them having that, uh, that uh, ability here, this Death Touch ability. But you know what? Looks like we're gonna win anyway. You can kind of see, right? Big Cat's getting big. Uh, that's why we call this one Big Cat, right? And um, this is the end of the game. You can see the uh, chariot coming into play. Doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Nope, no need. And nope. Yeah, this one's over. Wow, Big Cat's big already. That's amazing. Okay, guys, we hope you guys like this uh, this deck. Like and subscribe, it helps the channel. That's it for me. Good gaming, guys.